here's the finished product of what we created in this tutorial let me render out it's dynamic rotation spinning your objects with a dynamic acceleration set on them and I show you how to do spin manually on the timeline and I show you how to just do spins and just how to change the angle of, of items and all kind of little tricks in this lesson hello everybody and welcome to another flash action script 3.0 tutorial brought to you by flash building this one is easy and can help you with your animations greatly in this lesson I'll demonstrate how to rotate objects your movie clips or buttons whatever you need to spin uh, we'll show you how to rotate them with code for a cleaner spin effect and we'll go into uh, create new flash action script 3.0 and you can be in CS4 or CS3 and uh, first thing I'm going to do is pull out a polystar shape Maybe a little smaller okay so there's my polystar let's make it black let's make it red no edge okay so let's convert this to a movie clip and normally you might have a, a disc or a circle that would be rotating let's see convert the symbol but I wanted to have points on my object so we have good reference of how this thing is spinning so I'm going to convert it to a movie clip center registration is fine and uh, let's call it polystar so now we have a movie clip symbol and let's go ahead and name it my movie clip my movie clip down in the instance name area here of the properties panel so now it has an instance name so we can attach code to it now so the first thing we're gonna do first let me show you how a beginner might try and rotate this object so what they would do is maybe go to frame say 10 frame 20 making keyframes by pressing F6 all through there and then uh, I guess one more and what they would do is take this and with the skew, skew tool they would move it by holding shift to each side and then you hold it and go two sides away now the next one you go three sides one two three then the next one winds up back at the beginning point so now you can create motion tween by right clicking between all of these dots here and creating the motion tween now if we render out control enter we'll see we have a nice spin but it's a little choppy here let's go to higher frame rate of 30 let's render out actually that's not a bad spin but there's a way you can get it even smoother because you can see at one point it hangs up ever so slightly so I'm going to control Z until I remove all of those steps I created there okay so now we have our polystar here we have an instance name on it let's go and put in an actions layer here for our action script 3.0 I created that new layer by pressing this insert layer symbol here and then I double click to rename it okay so on that layer we're gonna highlight that keyframe there on, key, on frame 1 press F9 that'll open our actions panel now first thing we're going to do is set up the speed that we want this thing to spin and this can be changed so, so spin speed this variable name is spin speed and it is a number variable and it is equal to let's give it a value of 2 that'll be alright now um, let's say we want to rotate the object so we say spin no, we say uh, my movie clip, the instance name of the movie clip. 
uh, dot rotation and this is the method that enables the rotation if I can spell it right equals spin speed Alright, so what we're saying here is the rotation on the movie clip is going to be equal to 2. So let's see what happens. Actually, let's go ahead and just make this number very large so we can see what happens. Let's make it 40. Render out. And you can see it spun it almost completely around. See that? But what we want is an animation. So this is two ways you can go about this and uh, I'm gonna show you the the easy way first and then I'll show you the the dorky coder way so if we make another keyframe here or just you don't even need to make a keyframe just press F5 on frame 2 extend those keyframes out and then render out oops here sorry I'm gonna add uh, to make this compound and pull the rotation we need we have to add an, an addition sign here before the equal sign that'll compound that value see what happens so it's spinning it But if we take that value down back to 2, we can see it more clearly. So you see what's happening. Now it's set on a, a spin that we control the speed of. And let's get on a frame rate it's a little higher here. Back to 30. So it's smooth. Now that's the, uh, the easy way so let's just control Z out of those steps and let's go back to frame rate of 30 and now the dorky coder way what we're gonna do is add in a uh, an on frame an on enter frame event and function so let's type function Okay, let's see if I can spell right now. Function on enter frame. And the on enter frame event is very handy for looping and making things animate because it processes this function processes every time the frame is is accessed. So if you have a a file that's set to uh 12 frames per second this is going to happen many 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 times a second okay so now we closed off the enter frame event around our little dynamic uh, animation code and this has to be a plus sign here can't forget that plus sign and then uh, All we need is an event listener now. So you say add event listener, and this is event dot enter frame, all caps, and the name of the function is on enter frame right here. So you just put that there. You can give it a custom name if you want to. It doesn't have to be that name right there. Okay, so um, I think we're ready now. 40 is a little bit fast. Let's go back down to 2. And let's see if the dorky way works with only one keyframe. Sure does. Dorky way is nice. Nice and smooth. So that's three methods right there of spinning things and now I'm gonna show you the the ultimate coolness let's go to uh, make this point five 
and da, 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 da. let's go right down here. Here's a special little trick. I'm gonna show you how how to accelerate through code. Make something accelerate to gain speed over time. I'm write a little comment there, and we're gonna say spin speed. And all you have to do is take the spin speed, which is 0.5 when we start off and make that equal spin speed plus let's try one see how fast it accelerates so what will happen is it will start off spinning slow and accelerate over time hopefully if I set it up right that is hot you can see chaos sets in Chaos literally sets in. Man, mathematics is beautiful. Look what's happening. It's just... Oh, oh. Yo, that is dope. You can see the mathematics freaking out from the acceleration. I want to just try something here. And go into this movie clip. Add a rectangle. Actually, let's add a couple of circles here. A couple of oval primitives. One there. Control C, Control Shift V, and let's put one right there. This is gonna look sick. You can see the mathematics chaos is bugging out. And it oh cool. Reverse his direction. that's how you accelerate now since uh, that's going way too too fast let's go to point one now let's render out control enter now you can see the much more dramatic effect of acceleration the way I had it set before it was chaos but the chaos will soon set in here as well and it'll, it'll reverse uh, it's dynamics visually that is too cool it might take it a little while longer but it will get to the oh man that is doing some really cool things basically that's it that is the lesson how to dynamically rotate and accelerate through code spinning objects you can use that accelerate for any motion, really. It doesn't have to be a spin. Okay, we'll see you guys next lesson.